Hello, it's me Robin with Simple Food, Simple Life. Today I'm going to make some homemade sweet and sour sauce. Uh, and this is a restaurant style sauce. So, in the saucepan I've got one half cup of sugar and I have one quarter, or excuse me, four teaspoons of cornstarch. So I'm just going to whisk that together. Okay, to this I'm going to add, excuse me, I already added a pinch of salt to this mixture. So to this I'm going to add three quarter cups of water, four teaspoons of white vinegar, or you can use apple cider vinegar, one teaspoon of soy sauce, and I have it all in this cup measure here. Now we're going to put this on the uh, burner and we're going to watch it, stir it constantly until it starts to thicken, but we have one more ingredient to add. As we know in the restaurants, the, the uh, sweet and sour is red, so we're adding some red food coloring. Now I'm going to Stir this up, make sure it's well mixed, and we're going to keep an eye on it. We don't want to overcook it, but, but what will happen, it will start to become translucent and it will thicken up. It's not thickened up yet, but I did put a few more drops of the red food coloring in there. We're trying to replicate the uh, restaurant sweet and sour sauce that we get when we go out to eat. You can see that it's becoming more translucent. Alright, it's done. This does not take very long and as it cools down it will thicken a bit more as well. So that's it. That's all there is to it. I'm just going to store it in this one cup jar and as you can see there's a little bit more left in there. I will be using this uh, sweet and sour sauce in a dish later on today. But you can use this sweet and sour sauce in any way that you would normally use the store-bought sauce. Okay, all right. Uh, please like, subscribe, and share because it might help somebody else and it will certainly help me. And as always, you know that little is much when God is in it. Okay, all right. I love you guys and I will talk to you later. Bye-bye.